plaintiff, LaParis Brown, says the defendant is her cousin. And he's a party promoter with a lot of personal problems. LaParis claims the defendant is a ladies' man who has many women claiming to be pregnant with his child. And she's suing him because she invested in one of his parties and he has yet to repay her. Defendant Lawrence Cannon insists he is not a ladies' man and says he only has one girlfriend and no kids on the way. Lawrence admits that LaParis invested in one of his parties, but unfortunately a shooting took place at that party and as a result the venue refused to pay him. He's countersuing for defamation. Start with you. All right, Your Honor. Lawrence is my cousin. I love him to death, but however, he has a lot of serious personal issues. He likes to party a lot. I understand he's a party promoter and his life is about the party. I party too, but however, I prioritize before partying. He likes to get drunk, get kicked out of hotels on the regular. He likes to get kicked out of hotels. That's not true, Your Honor. Well, he likes to get drunk and then get kicked out of hotels after it. He even got drunk before and crashed his car. Thank God he wasn't injured or nobody else got injured. When was that? That was, what, last year or the year before last. Um, he is a ladies' man. You see, he is attractive. Some girls have even claimed to be pregnant by him. Despite All incorrect claims. Oh, um, right. Despite the personal issues, he appears to be a really great businessman. Um, He's been doing pr party promotion for, what, like four years? promoting different parties, and when he came to me and asked me what I invest in, I was skeptical. Let me get to him for some background, first of all. Go okay. ahead. Basically, um, I'm like, I've always been a life of the party, that is true. However, that's not what I base my life upon. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a party promoter. That's I, it? I, um, I throw shows, concerts, and I also host, so I get booked to host as well as book my own shows. Okay. We throw, um, all of our shows are based upon nonviolence. That's why everybody in Chicago really, like, comes to our events because we really bringing out like minimum 2,000 kids every party with no shoot, no shooting or anything. However, um, the past, this past event in December 2015 was the event that she invested in and also had like 50 shots were let off after the party and two people were hit, which is the reason why the event was shut down and we didn't make. Okay. What else you want to tell me about yourself or her um, before I get to the specifics of what she's alleging? Well, I, I'm not a ladies' man. I have one girlfriend. I don't... Uh, there's no one alleging... Uh, saying that I'm getting them pregnant or anything. Um, I have never crashed a car. Um, I don't have a DUI. However, she is a very loud, obnoxious person. She takes all of our arguments... Any argument she's ever had, it all goes directly to social media. Like, as soon as she argues with somebody, you can go see it right there. I mean, three days later, it might not be there because she deletes it and apologizes, which is what she does. And also, um, basically, I, I've never been the type that... I, I, I have gambled. I turned 21 this past June. I just turned 21, so I, my first mistake I made was going to the boat, and I lost... You're a gambling it. fiend? No, no. Mm -hmm. I, I had, I had a, a problem for, like, two months. Liar. Okay. How'd but, you quit? Losing all my money in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Hitt hitting, hitting rock bottom and realizing, like, this, that's not something I want to do again. All right. Let me hear from you about what happened here. He asked me if I could invest in it, and I was skeptical because he never asked me before. He then told me that his main investor didn't have the funds this time. So I told him, I'll do it, but uh, I need written... Uh, you know, re uh, written, written agreement, agreement? contract, mm -hmm. or something. So we did get a contract, which Can I have see right it, here. Please? And his signature is on the back, highlighted. Okay, so the day of the party, I didn't go to it because of the crowd he brings out. I didn't want to be around that type of environment. And like she's he said, she's more violent. She doesn't like the non-violent people. <laughs> <laughs> See, you didn't want to be around those type of people. And he said his type is non-violent. Right. Go ahead. Um, so, well, he he never had a shooting before at any other ones, but this particular one, it was. Um, and like I said, just when you came. I didn't come. No. I didn't come. So when you invest in, I did not come because there, I knew. all the other parties are peaceful. But the one you invest in, there's a shooting. Defendant Lawrence Cannon is being sued by his cousin, who says Lawrence is a ladies' man, and several women claim they are pregnant with his baby. But Lawrence insists he has one girlfriend and no babies on the way. Go ahead. Um, the next day was the day I was supposed to get the money. I'm calling him, I'm texting him, he is completely ignoring me. So the following day, which was the 28th, then he texts me, which I have 
proof as well, saying um, because of the shooting, the owner said that he didn't feel comfortable with giving the money that night. So he was going to send it via check, and it was going to take five to ten business days. I'm like, that sounds kind of funny. He was just like, it's beyond my control. There's nothing we could do. We're just going to have to wait. I'm like, all right, cool. Come to 10th business day, I am calling him, texting him. Multiple times, he did not answer. So I end up showing up at his house. He wasn't there. And then I called from his mom's phone. And look what happens. He answers on the first ring. So it was evident that he was just clearly ignoring me. So once I speak with him, he, oh, I got your money. Don't worry. He like, I'm going to bring it to you today. Right. And of course, he never showed up. Um, I'm calling and texting him still. And this kind of continued for the next few weeks. Um, mm -hmm. He was supposed to be on his way. I'm bringing you the money and never done it. Was ignoring my phone calls and text. Then we'll respond like a day later or hours later. Then he finally admitted on January 15th. That All right, let me get to him, um, see what happened. And then we'll get back to the evidence. Sir? Well, um, that was true. She did invest. Um, the, the next day, my, I had my phone off the whole day because it was just like, I was just overly stressed. And that was the last thing on my mind, which, is, I, which I was wrong for. I shouldn't have been annoying the calls. Um, when I did finally talk to her, I told her that we would get the money 10 business days later, which is what we were told by the venue owner. Um, next thing you know, the venue owner didn't feel comfortable giving us money at all because basically it's, there's a company that runs that, that venue. They throw um, a lot of shows. And basically I issued a statement on Twitter myself saying that what happened was beyond our control. You can send the blame this way. They contacted me and told me, we don't feel, like, can you delete that? I never deleted it. Um, so basically we took a loss with the money. You didn't have any more money after that? You were broke? Yeah, that, that, that sent me to rock bottom. That was, I, I had every dollar I had, I put into that show. That was basically- Why would we were, you do that? Because we were supposed to make over $100,000 that night. So you'll put up every dime you have where there might be a tornado that night, there might be uh, any other type of snowstorm that keeps people from coming, and you've risked every dime you have. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, want to be in business with you. <laughs> <laughs> You said that's a good business? I was unaware of this. It was strictly family. What personal. evidence do you have? You know I don't believe this. I have the text messages where he's, first off, that's the first I've ever heard of him saying that the owner never sent the money out, saying that he felt uncomfortable. He never told me that part. I have text messages on January 15th. He texted me and told me that he gambled away the money that he had, won from that night, and his own money at the casino which is right here, and he said that he was going to give me an additional $500 for gambling it away and all of the confusion. What you got to say about that, big fella? <laughs> I got concerts. I do shows. They must work you and don't give you anything. Not That's anymore. a shame. I've been having successful events lately. When? Um, February. So why didn't you pay her since? We had an agreement, which I have, and she chose to go to court. We had an agreement that I was going to pay her. Yeah, but you were going to pay her in January, and you didn't. I didn't have the money at the time. Right, but when you did get it in February, why didn't you pay it, Mr. Business? I wanted to do a bit of... Uh, 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 no, you said you were going to do it in January. You do what the contract in, in says. February, when I got paid... Yeah, but you were supposed to do it in January. She agreed. But I forgot, you were too broke by then, Mr. She, business. She agreed. Are you still broke? No, I'm not You got any you. money? Yeah, I do. All right, now you're going to pay her. How about that? <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Your claim is dismissed. <laughs> Have a good day. But you know, it's still my cousin. I'm not, we not mad. He's still my cousin. I still love him. <laughs> I just needed my money. So I'm glad that I won. And that's it.